Hello, today what we're going to cover is how to make cosplay rivets like this guy right here with your hot glue gun. Quick, easy, and simple. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome to Build Stuff with Ben or BS with Ben. If you're new here, do not forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when I'm making new videos. A lot of people for cosplay are making these little rivets here. One is that they buy the little googly eyes from the dollar store and they glue them on, which is a great solution, but there's two things that kind of bug me about them. One <laughs> is the noise. You end up sounding all jingly when you're walking around. Second thing is, is that real rivets are hand hammered down, which means that they're not all the same, a little different in each one. This is how to create them really simple. The genesis of this idea actually comes from how to make a top hat. The DIY steampunk fashion pattern tutorial from Lost Wax. Chris is an absolute rock star when it comes to making steampunk stuff. And his patterns are awesome, awesome, awesome. I highly recommend you go and buy some of them from his channel. Go to Lost Wax on YouTube and check it out or lostwaxoz.com. So what Chris does is he mixes up epoxy and once he does that, he uses a matchstick and he makes the little dots. Now if you're making super micro rivets, this is a great way to go about doing it. The problem I have with this is that you have to wait five minutes or so for the epoxy to set up until you can go on to another area where you don't have to worry about it rotating. Let's get started. We got the dot paper. We're also going to get parchment paper, you can use wax paper, whatever you decide. Finding a circle template, I did a whole bunch of googling for circle templates, dot templates and all that kind of stuff and I was having a bit of a problem with that. So if you want the circle template that I made in this video, check out below, there should be a link and you can download that PDF. And we're going to place that over top of this. Generally parchment paper wants to hop up on you. Now, do we need to have all these little dots here? Probably not, but they help out quite a bit. So the next thing we need to do is heat up the handy dandy hot glue gun, make a little blob, stop, make another little blob, stop, and keep going until you have all the rivets that you want to have. So what a lot of people have done in the past, and I do, or I have done in the past, is that you hold the helmet like this, and you take the hot glue gun and you heat one up and you put one there, put one there, put one there, and you can get a few just on a flat. But as soon as you tilt it like this and the glue is still hot, it runs and it makes a drip. So you end up having to hold it like this and you know maybe watch a movie or something like that, but it can take a very long time for you to put all the rivets down. Come down and you make a little dot of hot glue like this. Then you do this little swirly thing till that little dot or the, all that string has gone away and it makes a perfect little dot and you let that cool down. So what we've done here is we've created a grid paper made of quarter inch dots. This gives you a little sort of foundation of how big, how much glue you got to put down and make sure that you get some consistency to them. I realized that I just said that they're not all consistent and they're not, but you do want them to be about the same size. Now that we have given it some time to dry, you can see you've got these little tiny rivet-like heads. But that doesn't help you necessarily attach it to anything, now does it? So here's some foam. We're gonna get some crazy glue, super glue, dollar store crazy glue. So the next stage is you just take your foam, have marks to where you want to actually put the rivets. Let's do a few here. We're gonna lay out a few drops of crazy glue where we're gonna place the rivets. Drop that guy down. He's on there. And you just give it a few seconds to dry. Or to set up, whatever you want to call it. Now, in the interest of being, well, impatient what we're going to do is we're going to use some zip kicker we're going to try the same thing again so we're still kind of waiting for this stuff to dry it will it will dry and they will adhere no problem but the fast way to do it here 
and you don't need a whole lot of glue. So when you get your little rivets, take them, give them a little hit of that. Once you place them down, it's almost instantaneous. And you can see they're perfectly adhered onto there. I'm gonna try something here. Put a little bit of that stuff down there. And just take a rivet, place it down. Hey, so there you go. Real simple, hot glue gun, make dots. All the dots aren't consistent, but they do look like little pounded rivet heads. They're very fast and cheap with stuff that you already have on hand. Hopefully that's helped you out with your cosplays and we will be covering some more cosplay tips and tricks here shortly. Stay tuned and do not forget to hit subscribe. Got any questions or comments, let me know below. And if you have a better way of doing this, I definitely want to hear it down in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.